Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 5. Today we will presentation about integrated pest management of chrysanthemum. Before it, let me introduce our member. My name is Adelia Sanahusria with student number 195. And my friend is Serena Indira Mulyani with student number 198. Muhammad Hafid Adityawan with student number 202. Exita Kusuma Juliani with student number 204. And Aliviandra Saniputra with student number 208. Introduction. Chrysanthemums are one of the cut flowers and pot flowers that are popular with the public. The demand for cut chrysanthemum continues to increase both domestically and for export. The main problem in chrysanthemum farming is pest attack, which can damage and reduce the quality of the flowers. Environmentally friendly pest control has become a major prerequisite for plant cultivation. For this reason, produ producers or farmers are required to use more production facilities that are environmentally friendly and safe for health. The number one is apids or Macrosiponiella sanborni. The chrysanthemum apids are prone to black which other species range in color from green to pink. Apids feed by piercing plant tissue and sucking plant sap. They prefer feeding on the new growth, new growth in such areas as such, the underset of leaves, buds, and flowers. Their feeding can result in distorted growth, something and sometimes death of the entire plant. And then, pest management of apids. Uh, first, technical, technical culture and crop rotation with plants that are in the same family as chrysanthemum. Using predators such as Tripidae uh, from Diptera family, Cochinellidae from Coleoptera family. And then, control with novelty insecticide as, such as neem oil, Turan, or Tuna SP, Tiretum. Mengi or Melia azedaraj, and then chemical control by insecticide with active carbofuran ingredient. Uh, and then chip or chip SP. Chip SP has a characteristic of seven segment antenna, has hook wings that are more than half the length of the abdomen. Symptoms of a trick attack are scar tissue and black spots on the flower crown, long straight silvery crown, which is the effect of the much piercing tool sucking from the press that sucks on the flower. Next. Okay, so for the trips management, the first one is avoid, it. avoid planting susceptible plants next to these areas and control it by weeds that are alternate host of pest trips. Uh, the next step is grow plants that are well adapted to conditions that are at that site. The next step is keep plants well irrigated and avoid excessive application of nitrogen uh, fertilizer, which may promote higher uh, population of the trips. The last step is contact insecticides include azatiractin, azamex, Safer brand bionim, insecticidal soaps, uh, safer, narrow range oil, bonite horticultural oil, Monterey uh, horticultural oil, neem oil, green light neem, uh, Scotch garden safe brand neem oil, and pyrethrins, which, may, which many products combine with piperonil, butoxide. Uh, as flower and vegetable insect spray, garden tech, garden tech worry free brain concentrate. Next, <coughs> okay. So, for the next pest is leaf miner or lirio misa species. This pest attacks the leaves of the chrysanthemum plant. The larvae attacks starting on young leaves by making growth in the leaves, swirling in the leaf. Epidermis. Mines are usually white with damp black and dried brown areas. They, they are typically serpentine, serpentine 
tightly coiled or of irregular shape, increasing in width as larvae mature. Okay, uh, this is a pest management of leaf miner or Lirio Mizia SP. The first one is planting resistant variety, general hygiene conditions in horticulture and farming should be maintained by clearing all weeds and treating glass house soil where practical to disturb uh, weeds and waste plant material if infested should be burned. And then uh, mechanical control such as exposing your sticky traps close above the growing plants and then doing crop rotation that is not a host of pests. And the last one is spraying systemic insecticide, such as regard 70, 75 BP. Next. And then earthworm or Acrotis epsilon. This pest belongs to the other Lepidoptera from family Noctuidae, uh, the female insect uh, epsilon lays eggs uh, on the ground close to the plant. Egg production range from 1,800 eggs. And then larva hide in the soil during the day and come out at night to attack plants by sitting or cutting off the tips of young plant stems, causing the apical shoots or stems to drop and wither. The larva, the larval stage lasts about 36 days and then pupa formation occurs at ground level. Next. Okay, uh, and then this is how to control earthworm. The first one is technical culture control, is soil cultivation to kill pupa in the soil. The second one is sanitation by clearing the land of weeds, which is also the place where uh, epsilon moth lay their eggs. Biological control, take advantage of natural enemies such as types of parasitoids like Apanthelus ruficus, Conlofana heterocera, Sufera, Sufocera varia, and Tritaxis barueri. Using entomopathogen fungi such as Metarazium. Chemical methods by using insecticides with doses adjusted to the recommended concentration. Next, okay, this is the conclusion. Uh, there are several pests that attack chrysanthemum plants, including aphids, thrips, leaf miners, earthworms, and other pests. Overall, the right treatment to overcome some of these pests is to apply the right cultivation techniques, carry out plant maintenance to keep it hygienic or sanitation, and then to use insecticides with control dose and times. That's our presentation. Thank you for your attention.